Before we get started today, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone that has subscribed to the One Man Stream channel and for those that have left comments. Thank you very much, and please keep your comments and questions coming. Hello and welcome back to One Man Stream. Today, we're going to show you how to build a graphic in GT Title Designer and how to use bar or pipe delimited data to feed that graphic. We will also show you how to map that graphic in vMix UTC uh, so that you can use that graphic in your main vMix production. That much and so much more on today's One Man Stream. Now, this is an episode I've been wanting to do for a while because not everyone feels comfortable uh, with data sources. And this is an alternative to data sources. It's a way to bring large amounts of data into a graphic without having to make multiple uh, different graphics. So that's what we're going to cover today, and it should be a lot of fun. First of all, we're going to show you the graphic that we created in GT Title Designer. And over to the right, you can see me clicking through the different elements uh, in that graphic. And this graphic was very straightforward. It probably took me all of about 15 minutes, maybe, uh, to create this graphic. Now we're going to go to the main, main vMix production, and we're going to right-click on the title, and that's going to bring up the title editor. And that is showing you the information that's actually being brought in uh, to this graphic. And we've just uh, made some random uh, pieces of information uh, for different football players. Uh, in this particular graphic, we're not going to be using a player image, so you, that will not appear today. What we're looking at here is the information that we've populated into the list button uh, that we made. And I'm going to show you step by step how to make that uh, later on in the video. You can see as we choose different data from the drop down list how it, uh, those changes are reflected in our graphic there. And this is how the uh, graphic is mapped. We'll go into that in full detail in just a moment. And in the green, you can see the data there and notice that they are separated by the pipes or bars. And uh, that is the focus uh, of our episode today. It is very important that that table box is checked uh, because the way this works with the bar separated data, it reads one piece of data and then goes to the next piece of data and to the next piece of data. And if you do not have that uh, that box checked, it's going to put all the data uh, in the first data field. Okay, so now we're going to create the list button. And we went up to our um, widget menu and we just clicked on list. And that is going to be our list button. We changed it to an orange color with the drop down menu and now we're just putting it where we want it. We're going to make one more button, and this button here is going to allow us to get rid of the overlay. So uh, when we're scripting this button, we're going to go to Overlay Input X, and then we're going to pick the uh, input that we want and then the overlay channel that we want. And the other button that we're going to use is the NDI Monitor button that we've used several times. Uh, you can check out Episode 2. Uh, go, this goes into a little bit more detail in episode two, how to use the NDI monitor button. But that's what we're creating now. And that's just so that we can see what's going on in our main uh, vMix production. So that's our output right there from our uh, main vMix production. And now we're going to go ahead and script that button. We're going to go to overlay input X. And then we chose our input and then overlay three. So when we click it once, it comes on. We click it again, it comes off. And uh, that is a very handy tool. It allows us to toggle uh, that on and off. OK, now we're going to begin the mapping. And what we're doing is we're going to pull this same input in five times. And we are going to map it to a different title uh, in that input. So the first one is going to be position. And then we're going to bring it in four more times, all looking for the same input. This one is going to be number. And then we're going to do first name, last name, and the last bit of data that we're going to bring in is going to be college.
And now what we're going to do is we're going to load a list that we uh, populated a little bit earlier uh, with some uh, information. And there it is right there, football test for UTC. Let's go ahead and click on that and then click open. And that's going to bring the information in uh, that we prepared a little bit earlier. But we can always add information on the fly. Let's just click the, the plus button there. It's going to add a line to the bottom. And now we're going to add one more uh, group of data. Quarterback number 18, Peyton Manning from the University of Tennessee. And see how easy it is to add something on the fly? We're going to click OK. And now it's going to appear in the uh, drop-down menu. But this is the point I wanted to reiterate. Make sure that you check that table box there. Because if you don't, it's going to read that first piece of data and put everything uh, in that first mapping field and go no further. So make sure you have that table uh, box button checked. So there we go. We have all the information in there for Emmett Smith. We choose another item from the drop-down menu, Lamar Jackson, and then another one, Peyton Manning. And that's how easy it is to change uh, information in that graphic and how easy it is to use bar delimited data. Well, that's our episode for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Please subscribe so that you'll be alerted when new episodes are posted.